Here we go, Maya, finally. Okay, so let's import. This is how we're saving a um, new project in Maya for any one of you who don't know. Um, if it is a bit confusing or you don't know how to do it, uh, please uh, drop me a comment and I, I can do a separate video for it. If you want more details on how to set up a project and uh, how to save in Maya. So now I'm importing. See, here we've imported all of our geometry from ZBrush. I want my outliner here. Everything is there. I'm selecting all. I like grouping things straight away. So, edit, group. Why are we grouping things? Uh, later on we can have a talk about it, but um, I like grouping things. Because now I'll probably need to move the whole lot and if I want to move uh, everything I need to group it or parent it but parenting I leave more for um, when I'm doing animation and using the parent constraint I like I like grouping things when I'm um, working see we grouped it we moved it up <clears throat> okay, so that's our high poly, that's the low poly, I'm looking at the low poly and it's definitely not going to work low poly with that high poly we have. Let's uh, give the low poly, I know what happened here, I did try to be cheeky and I did try to use the low poly as a base for the topology, basically just delete parts of it and um, build on top of that. Well, that didn't work. So, you know, that didn't work. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so in the next video, it will be like proper starting up the topology. Yes, I did try. It did not work. That's why I was really meshing that much. And I was thinking I can get away with it, but uh, not really. So I'll see you in the next video when we're going to be starting the topology. At least now you saw how we apply a new material in uh, on an object in Maya. See you in the next video. Thank you.